Pokemon Gent, Gent here, and today we'll be playing some Mass Effect. Now, uh, I don't know too much exactly about this one. I played it before, uh, a couple years ago or something, but I never beat it because... Because um, what happened was, uh, I got stuck on one particular part of it, and it I got stuck on this part for like a week. And I just couldn't get through, so I finally looked up a walkthrough and got through the thing. And uh, immediately after that, and I got in a fight in the game. And the thing. And immediately uh, after I finished that part, like the game glitched out completely, got me stuck, and I had to restart at my previous save, which was at that part that I got stuck at. <laughs> So, I just kind of just stopped playing it and just, just didn't play it again since. So, I just didn't have, feel like it. But, but uh, I'm going to play it now and I'm going to finish it this time. So, let's get into this. <laughs> Secure connection confirmed. Um, no, I want to I wanna make my own. Let's, uh, no, not quick start. Uh, let's go female, because why not? No, no, no. Um. Call her Genty. <laughs> uh, I like that name. Call her Genty Shepherd. <laughs> Alright. Sending the info to... Who are you sending this to? I would like to know. I would like to know who's looking through my, uh, my personal stuff. Warning. It's not good. What the hell is going on? Please. <laughs> what the hell was all that? Was that all just like a pony show or something? Alright, let's look at the stuff. Uh, Spacer. Both of your parents were, were in the... Yeah, Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred yeah, transferred from post from position to position, posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of eighteen. Colonist, you were born and raised on in uh, whatever that name is, a small border colony in the. At Atacan Traverse. I can't read these weird names. <laughs> when you were 16, slavers raided, slaughtering your family and your friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with them a few years later. That sounds like a really sucky That's start. <laughs> uh, Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great... Covering Earth, whatever that name is, <laughs> you escaped the life of a, you escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting in the Alliance military when you turned 18. Uh, let's not go with colonists because that's that dark and sucks. Um, let's go with Earthborn. It's, we'll we'll love Earth a little more. Confirm psychological profile. All right, Soul Survivor. During your serv during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical tr tr torments and psychological stress that would have broken most people. You survived while those around you fell, and now you were alone. Now you now you alone are left to tell the tale. That still kind of sucks. <laughs> War hero. Alright, it's gonna take way too long to remember to read all of these, so I'm gonna put these up. I'll read most things, but not everything, because it'll just take too much time. Um, let's go with no, not war hero. Let's go with soul supplier. Right. Engineer. I have played a little bit of the other Mass Effect games, but not too much. Uh, 
and I always go with soldier. So let's switch it up and go something else this time. Uh, engineers are tech specialists using holographic omni. They can, yeah, decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and can heal their squad. Sounds pretty useful. I've always wondered about using the biotic things. Some kind of, um, kind of like the force, except, well, not as awesome. <laughs> uh, traitor. Nah, I'm not really one for stealth in these kinds of games. Tech abilities. Hmm. Like a combination of engineer and um, adept. That could be pretty useful. Let's go with sentinel. Confirm Let's change appearance. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this out and uh, I'll be back with you as soon as it's done. Alright, and we're back. So, here we go. I believe this is everything. She's her name is Jinty Shepherd. She's Earthborn, Soul Survivor, and Class Sentinel. Yeah, come to think of it, she doesn't really look too much different from the basic character, but trust me, there are some differences. Took all the makeup off her too, because she's an independent woman. She don't need no makeup. All right, I've played this on. I played this on normal before, and just like when I first played, it was on normal. Oh my god, it was just so unbelievably difficult with everything. So, I'm just gonna play on casual for a little while, and if I think it's too easy, I'll, I'll just switch to normal. But chances are, don't think it will. Uh, I'll do the leveling up myself, put on some target assist. Let's put on. Actually, put on high because the accuracy in this game sucks. Uh, active, put on autosave. Alright, let's get into it! Oh, that thing's beautiful. The, um, it's a Mass Effect relay. Things look really cool. Well, what about Shepard? Well, that's Born, too bad. No record of her family. Doesn't have one. The streets is where it's at, on, on Skid Row. Because I, I gotta get out of Skid Row. And I got out. Now I'm in space. Very far away from it. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. I'm the sole survivor, actually. The kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person huh. can protect the galaxy. Well, I didn't know about that. <laughs> I'll make the call. But I guess we'll find out. I discovered... N 2048 and... Explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the far. Oh. <laughs> That's not very nice. Mass Effect. Ah, oh, there's that storm on Jupiter. What is that thing called? The Red Spot or something? Arcturus Prime relays in range. That is, uh, uh, Seth Green. Seth Green does the voice of Joker. I remember that, because that was one of the first things when I first played this. I was like, that voice sounds so familiar. I had to, just drove the hell out of me for a couple days, and I'm like, oh, that's Seth Green. It just dawned on me, like, out of nowhere. I think it was actually in the middle of class. <laughs> I just, I think I had my head down just listening to the teacher and then it just popped in my head and shot up and I'm like, that's his name! I didn't say that out loud, but still, there's our girl. Oh, I think we're gonna use the thing. That is a really pretty ship. I mean, the ship we're on, but that, the relay is really pretty. Is it really a ship, though? Could we really call it a ship? And pew! God, that part always... I always thought that part was so awesome. Thrusters? 
Check. Navigation. Check. Internal emissions sinking. Porn collection. Check. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. We all hate him. Whoever he is. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target yeah. the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a I right suppose they would. Yeah, that is the official story. Uh, Only an idiot believes the official story. You're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems... Even the liquids? Everything looks solid. Good. Find a calm buoy and link us into the network. I want Mr. Eden Prime. That sounds like a very nice place. Sounds like a good, um... Vacation spot. I have a feeling though it's not going to be so nice when we get there. I don't really remember everything that's on here. This first mission. He sounds angry. That's always a possibility. Maybe it's because you always piss him off. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we're finally controlling her. And this is our running cycle. <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's talk to Navigator Presley. Congratulations. Better okay. smooth than rocky. We had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to all give right. him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll find That's tell it's you not a uh, likely. I better head down and I'm just going to go. Yes, ma'am. Just uh I don't want to look at you. Open this door. This is the guy. Okay. Uh, what's what species is he again? I, I forget the name. But, uh, Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said. Well, it just so happens that you got here first. Hmm. Not a coincidence, I bet. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know, Want you to describe it for the people. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. Don't underestimate humans. Humans. <laughs> Is the Alliance truly ready for this? People, aliens have always done that, and it's never worked out for them. Watch any space sci-fi movie. Simple shakedown run. Because I'm smart. There was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. Well, I, I figured we would use the stealth systems because the stealth systems are always useful. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top. Uh, he does another. He does other voices too. He is the voice of um. During an excavation. The Arbiter. He's, uh, yeah, I think it's the Arbiter. Of, uh... He uh, did the voice of the Arbiter in the Halo games. And I think he was also in... One of the... You now the Chronicles of Riddick movies, too. He was, uh, the priest or something. The last time humanity made a discovery like this... That's very impressive. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the citadel. back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes well, beyond. Yeah, something like that would affect the entire galaxy. Every species in council space. Are we expecting? That's usually a good way to live life. In this line of work, that is. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to reevaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants Humans always want a larger role in something. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. 
If they accept a human Isn't that kind of speciest? Or is it just because they haven't had a human good enough to get into the specters? You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I Really? Why, that's very nice of you. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Well, yeah. I mean, that'd be a big, that'd be a really big, um, really big feat for uh, mankind. You'll be in charge of the ground. Judging by what they're saying. Let's uh, do. Uh, no, let's get going. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission that from doesn't Eden sound good. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Well, they're shooting. Already a bad sign. I'm. I don't want to get down. My dance meter's out. He's watching that video like a hawk. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, hmm. heavy casualties. We can't. That's usually what happens. Okay. He's dead. Probably. Oh, they stopped shooting. That's never a good sign. That is certainly not a good sign. <laughs> okay, and the video cuts out. Everything cuts out after that. No com trap. Probably just like them. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. His little jaw sides twitched. <laughs> Status report. Well, then I guess it's up to us. in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast That's the way I like it. Fast and quiet. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance. I think we should be just slightly worried about that big ship creature monster thing. Telelenko and Jenkins to suit up. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> I believe it has an actual name for it, like the Normandy there. Kinda like that. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Well, you gotta do some serious digging to to bury a bunch of bodies. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The Which means one of us is gonna ignore that and save people. <laughs> Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster well, on my own. Love the teamwork. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, Understood. Ready and able, sir. Thank you. Now, Good luck to you too. Because you're not exactly safe up there. We are approaching drop point two. And here we are. Stand in formation, boys. Now let's do the YMCA. <laughs> Okay, go this way. Okay, uh, how do I switch weapons? That's not it. This place got okay, here we go. That's it. This is the weapon that I want. Yeah, I remember, um, you have unlimited ammo in this game, but the accuracy certainly, certainly puts a handicap on. It's like, look at that, look at that crosshair. That is such a huge spread. And when I stop, it really doesn't get much shorter. <laughs> Accuracy sucks. Uh, and when you pull out a sniper rifle, it's like a four-year-old on pixie sticks. You can't keep the crosshair still for anything. Alright, let's pick up the pace a little. Enough lollygagging around here. Hopefully we can get to some combat before this episode ends. Are we supposed to be quiet? Just one of the guys screams out, Are we supposed to be quiet? Well, those don't. And he's dead. God, this is so inaccurate. And I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna die. No! 
No. Oh, thank God he hit it, or I would have died right there. Okay. I see why I gave me the pistol first. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the pistol. <laughs> How do I use? Oh, okay. There we go. That stuff's useful. I swear I'm better than this. <laughs> oh, I guess I got lucky there. I thought I missed them. Got some burned out buildings. Well, from that video, it didn't look very good. I'll try to catch up. Okay, send squad members using that. Poof. I don't really um, pay too much attention to the tutorials in these in any game really. I like to figure out the buttons for myself, unless it's like complicated, like really complicated stuff. Otherwise, I'll just figure it out for myself. Yeah, regroup with me. Well, hello, it's the lady in white. Nice shot. Look friendly. Okay. Now they have a Chris. Now they have a star in the tree. They must decorate it. Alright, let's help this check out. Death Troopers. Boom, shakalaka. I win! Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. Yeah. The one who That's Ashley, okay. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. Yeah. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling That's usually a bad place to be when an attack's hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Probably a bad one. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? Death. I think they're Geth. The Geth have things change. Why are they here now? Couldn't tell you. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Come on with us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. <laughs> just stared at her. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we just got a new uh, person on our team. Let's face the camera. Do this. All right. Well, we just got a new companion on our team. So. I guess that'll be it for right now. We'll get some pain in the next episode. This is Gentle Gent here. Hope you're all enjoying this episode. Hope you're enjoying this series so far. Let me know if you want to see more of this or if there's anything else you want to check out. Anything you want me to check out for you. Uh, just let me know in the comments. This is Gentle Gent here, signing out.